Jake reminded me I forgot to lift the bench up. This is uh gotta get used to this. Now I got a couple of concerns. Come in here, Jake. First of all, putting that uh, scribe mark at the end of these was actually a good idea because it helps to register the chisel instead of just trying to set it on the line, keep it square. Now it'll fall into the gauge mark. But my only concern is, something to point with, is right here. Because when you wedge, you put a little bit of pressure on those fibers in this direction. And when I cut out this, this piece for the foot, that's not very much material, so... I just have to pay particular attention when I do that, not to drive that wedge down excessively hard. Anyway, Jake, you want to come over my right shoulder while we finish this? Now, I just want to go in here and get rid of some of this stock. I haven't touched. I'm using a quarter inch just because it makes it easier to move. So, at that point, I can now take my final chop, and I want it to be one continuous plane. In other words, you don't want to stop. If you do, you're going to have a problem when you put your wedge in. So I'll set that in the uh, feel for the gauge line, line it up based on that mark I made. Take that right down. No, you, uh, I'm gonna move them out of it. Even though there is a bit of uh, a little bit more material on this one, I'll still soft enough that I can take it in one chop. Okay, and that came out nice and clean. Now, take this apart and see how we did. that okay so I should have that that end point right there on that slope surface should be stopping right here at the baseline right here at the base of the of the uh, bottom of that dado and it, it isn't. Now I've got to figure out why not. Boy I really missed on that one. Did I not? I carried that around. I hate to think we screwed up on that already. Okay, see what we're doing. That was my square. So we carry that, that's that line, that's that line. And we meant the same amount. both sides. That angle is the same slope. We had that set right there. So that should... Ah, I'm thinking. I don't need to think out loud, but... The good news is, it needs to be steeper than it is. So that's all right. 
it had been a problem if it was the if it was the opposite. And what I did is I probably took this wrong. I took this uh, dimension wrong. So there's the bottom of my dado right there where the pencil is. Jake, I can't see. Okay. So if I read that right, that's 23 and a half degrees without moving it. That's correct. So why didn't it work? When, when, when this, let me see if I can draw this on a piece of paper so I can make sure you understand what I'm doing. If we were to cut into this and look. Okay, so we've cut our dado here. When we bring our shelf through, or the bottom shelf, the tenon is going to start from here. So this wedged shape cut we made needs to go right to that corner and right down to that corner. Now what I'd mentioned to you while I'm drawing it, if you accidentally do this, then when you drive your wedges down, your triangular shaped wedges, they're going to pull it tight along this face and it's going to leave a gap here. And if you undercut it accidentally like that, well you're not going to get as good a joint. You're not going to see any problem up on the top side, but it certainly is not going to be as solid as it should be. What I've done right now is I've come in here and I've made these two steep and I've stopped right here. So we've got to go in and correct that, but I've got to figure out what angle it needs to be at in order to get it Correct. So I'm going to put the, I'll use that quarter inch chisel in there and lay it flat on that surface and I can see that I missed that by a fair bit. Check that side and that one's off bad as well. It should be off the same amount. That's the other concern I have is that these things are not lining up the way they should. Did I mention this can sometimes be a frustrating joint? It has to be right. Okay, let's try this again. I'll carry that. Now that line up. That line is not exactly where it needs to be. What I'd rather do is take that right off of the, i use my marking gauge to measure that. You see it? Yeah. Still me over there. <clears throat> Wait, sorry. There's one right here. So that's where that needs to be. And that lines up. And that lines up. So there's no problem there. So why are we not getting it to line up? I need you to move. Always a chance that when I was pounding, I got off a little bit. Yeah, when I look down on here, I can see that there is more slope on this side than there is over here on this side. Yeah, okay. 
see that? That's laying flat, and it's not following the line, so that's that's easy to tell where it went wrong. Well, I'm going to do this by hand. You know what? I'm going to this thing down low so I can lean over top of it. Huh? No, no, I'm going to do it by hand. I know I need to be about... So I'm going to use my thumb to pull it tight. on that. Okay, let me get over here. I gotta get I gotta get it to bite just as soon as it gets Okay, see that? That's perfect. See where that ends? Right there, right at the bottom mm -hmm. of the of the dado. This one, I came all the way to there, so I missed that. Now, like I said, it won't be something you'll be able to see, but technically, it's not as what it should be because it's it's not going to fill. When I drive that wedge in, it's not going to fill it like it should. Than perfect, but. Now, I just want to go in there and clean up that little bit that I missed. It's all right, leave it. Okay. Do the next one better. I wish I had that longer bench. Double check these and make sure that that angle is correct. Okay. Jake, put your camera on that. What does that read? I can't quite tell whether or not that's... What do you see, your eyes say? That, that would be 25 right there. So what is that? Is it 23 and a half? Yeah, let me see. Okay, 25 would be where? 25, is that hash mark right there? Those are... I would say it's 24. 24. <clears throat> okay. There, for some reason I could see that one. Yeah, that was on too. Okay. 
things. Now, the marking gauge. Set that. I've got to make sure this piece is sticking out just beyond. Okay. You want to clamp these good and tight too because it's easy to have them move. Now make sure I get that backing underneath there. I'm not hitting my bench. Let's see if we can't get this one better than the last one. Using right chisel. Such easy stuff to chop. And by the way, you don't have to score. You don't have to score a line out here because you're cutting perpendicular to the grain. It'll just automatically cut clean. Now, use that bit more. I made a, uh, it was a replica of a shaker toolbox, kind of a watchmaker's toolbox, and it had, I don't know how many, how many of these, but there was 48, I think, in a little wee cabinet. Okay. chisel in the scribe line. Hopefully we came out where we should have. Okay, I gotta move over, Jake. Feel for the scribe line. Be real careful when you're pulling these shavings up too that you don't accidentally pull a piece off the surface. I can get that easier on the other side. didn't cut as clean. It's actually quite... No, oh, there's just some debris in there that didn't get moved. Now that one, that one, well actually you know what, that's not, 
Yeah, it's, it's pretty close, although it's not perfect. That needs to have a little bit shaved off it as well. When you go back in to do this, and this stuff is so soft, just easy to screw up. All right, let me kind of get a feel for the angle. Okay. Now I'm pushing really hard with my thumb to hold that to hold that chisel firmly against that end grain wall. Light. That looks good. I'm not going to mess with that one, but I got to do this other one. needs to be 30 seconds. Now, before I assemble this, I'll go in and I may undercut these walls. Here, get close. I'll go in there and I'll clean this up where the X is on both sides. Just to make sure that when that tenon comes through, I fill all of that. That's the part that you're going to see. So I'll just undercut ever so slightly just in case there's any problem. All right, now we got to do that one more. We gotta get into the middle of the board. How are we for time, Jake? Seven minutes. Good, good. We should be able to at least get it started. Gotta do it this way, that's where my mark is. <coughs> This method of lining that up. I think I can get in there with those big clamps. They got quite a bit of reach. I'll do this first. Oops. Okay. Check that. Okay. One, I thought I had one really deep clamp. I want to get that out of my way. Flip, you're going to have to flip it around. Why? Because you're chiseling right there. Yeah, I know. I can't get it, can't get it underneath here because of the, uh, the way the bench is.
I threw it off. grabbing the wrong chisel. Ah! It's on the wrong mark. Shoot. What do you mean? Well, these marks oh, yeah. are supposed to be mm -hmm. out there. Well, let's admire this. Huh? Let's admire that for a second. Let me get you have to move it. Yeah, I was going to say I could just put the marks on again, but you need to just move it. <clears throat> well, at least I still have this thing set. shy. Line up your marks. Thank you. That's not quite on. This would be easier down at the end. And I don't have to try to reach so far with that clamp. I can get one good one in position, so I'll move it now. So let's Got to get a relief. Keep it tight to that support block. Now, I'm going to take 
split that one in half. Then set it in the gauge line. Line it up. Split that one in half. Set that in the gauge line. Those, if you wanted, you could take the time to make a little ramp and clamp it on there so you could set your chisel on there, but shoot, trying to do some things with a strictly hand skill. Take away too much of the fun. Why watch? How are we? Uh, let's just have a quick look at this. I suspect, seeing as none of the other ones came out perfect, that this one's going to have to be adjusted as well. I'm not worried about breakaway down in here because it's sitting at the bottom of a dado. End grain goes against it. Okay, let me have a look. We missed that by a little bit. That one is really close, but both of those will have to be paired. Just a little bit to bring them into line. Okay, I, uh, I what? I'll get, no sense in showing you doing this again, so I'll get this done on my own on the other piece. And then uh, we'll probably start laying out the, uh, the dovetails. We may do the tenons, I don't know, I'll decide. Okay, see you next episode.